everybody, today I am going to be doing a bath and body walks, body walks? <laughs> bath and body works haul. I flip in love bath and body works and I'm so sad that they don't actually have it here in the UK and no matter how many times I've said please bath and body works at least have one store here in the UK that we can buy your candles and all the other amazing bits from. Alas, this has not happened yet. So, I have to take matters into my own hands and find a way to get them from America to the UK, which I have successfully done. And I'm gonna show you what I got. How am I gonna pick this box up though? Oh my God. So I just randomly went on the website and noticed that they had all their autumn or fall, as you say in America. They had all those kind of seasonal candles. And as I said in my previous video, when I lit leaves, the candle that I really really love I instantly was just in the best mood ever and it reminded me of it being autumn and lighting lots of amazing candles and Bath and Body Works just have the best scents and I just find that they burn really well so this year I decided to go all out and try a lot more of their scents hence why I'm sat here with a box big enough for me to curl up in also, I have taken them out of their like individual packaging, but I haven't smelt any of them yet. So this is essentially an unboxing without me actually unboxing and taking everything out because that would have taken a really long time. Uh, but I haven't smelt anything, so I've been very restrained and I wanted to make sure I was filming this video in order to show you. I'm not like a candle expert, so I don't know all the right terminology, but I'm a candle enthusiast and I just, well, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm just gonna get to it. Candle number one, leaves. Okay, I don't really need to say anything about this, but this is the new packaging. I actually quite like it. I think it's, I think it's nice. <sighs> love, love, love this. Fragrant notes of crisp red apple, yes. Golden nectar, don't know what that smells of, and warm clove spice. This is everything that autumn smells like to me. This is autumn in a jar. I did actually have this. This is autumn. Um, again, this is like the new packaging. I think it looks really nice. It's not like so different. Uh, but I also had a little bit of this left over this year and I have been burning this as well. This one has uh, fragrant notes of bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf and fir balsam. This also, if you were just gonna get two, two staples, these two are, I feel like I'll just be getting these every year. This one's definitely a lot more fresh, whereas this one is a little bit more spicy. Caramel pumpkin swirl. I get very excited for all the pumpkin ones. There is a lot of different like food combinations with pumpkin in the form of a candle and I'm all about that. However, I'm not massively keen on very sweet, sickly scents. So there's a very fine line between me liking it and not liking it. Oh my God, what does that smell like? It's very sweet, very sweet, but I actually kind of like it. So this is fresh pumpkin, warm caramel, grated cinnamon and vanilla bean. This will smell amazing in your kitchen. I also really like the like battered copper lids. Pumpkin spiced cheesecake. I could eat a pumpkin spice cheesecake right now and I'm very intrigued to see what a pumpkin spice cheesecake smells like. It smells like pumpkin spice cheesecake. However, I feel like not everyone will like this. It has like a biscuity vibe to it. It's definitely not as sweet as the other one. So this says notes of spiced pumpkin, graham cracker crust, which is obviously what I can smell whipped cream cheese. See, I think it's the cream cheese that's throwing me off. Because it's a bit like soury. Oh, I don't know. I think this is definitely one that you have to burn to get the full potential, but it does smell pretty damn good. Crisp morning air. Okay, so this one says fragrant notes of crisp fall breeze. I mean, is that a note? white oak, golden amber wood, saffron and soft sandalwood. So this is going to be very like woody. Oh, I love that. Smells like a man's just got out the shower. 
Oh, I wonder if this is like the other one that I had last year where I said that exact same thing, or is that flannel? Oh, it reminds me of like when my dad used to get ready for like Christmas day and he would put like aftershave all like round here. That's what it smells like. <laughs> smells like my dad. <laughs> Marshmallow Fireside. I did get this one last year, really liked it. I'm actually not a huge fan of marshmallow scents, but somehow this works. I feel like the colour of the candle is really like throwing me off because last year it was like a whitey cream and I think they've put like a bit of grey into it. It's kind of a grey colour which makes it look a bit mouldy. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten what this smelled like, but it has like, it's quite tobacco-y. Toasted marshmallow, smouldering woods, fire roasted vanilla and crystallised amber. This is the most realistic marshmallows on a fire scent I've ever smelt because it does actually smell like fire, somehow. Next up is buttercream icing. I feel like this would be Anna Ciccone Jolie's dream candle. So Anna, if you're watching this, you somehow need to get your hands on this because it smells really good. Okay, so this has whipped buttercream, rich vanilla and sweet cream. So this isn't essentially very autumnal, but it was within the range, I think. Um, so I'm guessing people like lighting these sorts of candles this time of year. That legit smells like whipped buttercream. Oh my god, that is so good. And I, I honestly thought I was going to hate this. I really did. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that one. Oh, it smells so good. A spiced pomegranate cider. I have no idea what this is going to smell like. Ruby red pomegranate, sweet apple cider, muddled blackberry, and star anise. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god, this is like a mulled wine. That smells quite Christmassy actually. This is quite a Christmassy, this will be a good one to light in November I feel like. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This was one of my favourite ones last year. I had it in like a small one and I never got a big one. So when I saw this this year I was like I'm definitely getting a three wick. Oh, I think this is my favourite pumpkin edible candle. So this says maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice and brown sugar. Can you just imagine what this smells like? It smells... Oh my god, my kitchen smelt of this most of last year, so this just brings back so many memories. I'm really excited to burn this, and I really like this little... this little label. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Zoe, you are never gonna burn all these candles before all the Christmas ones come out. Well, you're probably right. <laughs> but I'll try. Warm apple pie. So I think this is a white barn one. Yeah, white barn. It was still on Bath and Body Works though. Oh my god. I have never smelt something that isn't an apple pie that smells so much like an apple pie. How have they actually done that? Baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar and flaky homemade crust. I reckon I could legit burn this in my kitchen and trick people into thinking I've made an apple pie every day. That is the best thing I've ever smelt. And I don't even really like apple pie that much, I'm not gonna lie. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. I don't think I've smelt this one before. So this one says pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, white ginger and praline musk. Or praline. Is it praline or praline? It's quite fresh, like it smells quite perfumey. I can't smell any pumpkin, not gonna lie. It smells like something I know. This is quite a fresh one. I quite like this. It's not, it's definitely not what I thought it was going to smell like. It doesn't really smell edible. It smells like quite feminine and floral. Next up, we have honey crisp. It says golden honey crisp, apple blossom, and fresh sugar cane. Holy crap. Oh my god. You know how. Every single year, when Lush bring out their Christmas scents, I always say my favourite scent is so white because it has that fresh, green, like, apple smell. This is that scent. It is exactly the same. If you love So White, the bath bomb from Lush, you will, you will love this. 
I'm so happy with that. I wasn't even gonna get that one either. I was a bit like, eh, apple, meh. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Whoa. Harvest pumpkin, spiced clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. Okay, all I can really smell is the clove. This is the most festive candle out of all of them that I've smelled. And I honestly thought this was gonna be more like pumpkin-y. Maybe when you burn it, it has more layers. But that is very festive. Holy crap, that's definitely a November candle. Cinnamon sugared donut. Again, I'm not sure if this is uh, a autumn one. However, it was part of the autumn range, so. Crushed cinnamon, sugar crystals, and homemade donut. Legit smells like a donut. This is making me want donuts. This is so unfair. I have no donuts. <laughs> I then bought a car thingy. So it is a glittery pumpkin and you put it on the uh, visor. The, is it a visor? You know when the sun is out and you flip the thing down? You can clip it to that. Or you, I think I'll probably put it on the passenger side because then it's not going to be in my way. Um, and you can put scents inside this so your car smells really good. The scents I bought are leaves because I love it. Cinnamon caramel swirl. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. Pumpkin apple. Oh, pumpkin apple. And sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I am actually going to uh, put this in my car after this. I've wanted to do it like the last couple of days. I was like, no, I must film the video first. However, I have no idea which one I want to put in my car first. The choices to the choice is too varied, it's too much. I also bought one for Alfie and I bought one for Mark because he was with me when I placed the order and I was like, you need to try these. Put it in, because he likes to put smelly things in his car. anti backs these are just the cutest things ever. So this one is not ha um, Halloween, this one is not autumn, but it's the BFF Cookies and Milk. I just thought that was really adorable. We've got Crisp Morning Air. I quite like the fresh one. My hands are gonna feel so dry after this. That's, oh my God, that is amazing. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. This one's not autumn, but I love the smell of sweet peas. So I picked this one up, sweet pea. And sunlight and apple trees, which I really hope smells like that apple candle. Oh, it smells good. I also got Three nourishing hand creams. God, you can tell that I don't get to go into Bath and Body Works ever. I've just gone really like OTT, like no one's ever gonna use this many hand creams. But I figured that if I like them, I'll keep them. If someone else prefers the scent, then I can give it to them. Uh, so I've got a pump marshmallow pumpkin latte, a golden autumn day, and crisp morning air. I love the packaging for these. They're so cute. Then I only got a couple of foaming hand washes. In fact, I, what I di accidentally did was I bought a pack of all the new ones and then individually bought ones that I didn't realize were already in the pack. So I seem to have quite a few, but what I'm gonna do is like dish them out because I'm never gonna use this many, but it's fun to show you. So we've got sunlight and apple trees in the foaming hand wash. We also have autumn spiced strawberry, which I'm really excited to smell. Crisp morning air, which is that very fresh one that I just put on my hands. Golden autumn day. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Full lakeside breeze. And marshmallow pumpkin latte. I feel like I might have had this one last year actually. Everyone's hands are gonna smell so great. <laughs> so that is everything that I ordered from Bath and Body Works. I mostly kind of went candle heavy, but I did also buy a couple of things for clean hands. <laughs> and of course my little sparkly pumpkin for the car, which I'm very excited about. Let me know if any of those are your autumn or fall staples and which one is your favorite scent if you've tried any. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I've also kind of gone a little bit autumnal in the background, not much, but it's creeping in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.